All right, so a lot of people have been asking about what I've got in the collection. So I guess I'll make a video, walk everybody through kind of how it started and uh, what brought me into bourbon and what I actually have in the collection. I wouldn't call it a collection because pretty much everything is open and being drank, but uh, I guess it's still a collection nonetheless. So let's go check it out. So I'll probably start here because this is kind of where my bourbon journey began. It was at the Blanton's. So as you can see I've got the regular, the gold, the straight from the barrel, um, the special reserve, the red and the black, both uh, Takatas, the uh, Japanese releases. So started getting into Blanton's um, as you can probably tell from this guy here, oh, hello scary peeper. But I've got the, the Blanton's thing, the stave there. I also gave one to my daughter. And I've got the golds. So there was a lot of Blanton's that ran through this house at one point, and that was kind of my, my thing for a long time was the Blanton's. Um, but these guys, uh, not just moved on, but uh, store pick Eagle Rares, regular Eagle Rares. Just amazing stuff. This woodwork from Valentine, that's a limited release. Uh, actually, it's not a limited release. It is a limited release, but it's like made way back in the day before all of these pingrees came into came into existence. So we've got all these Mayer pingrees. 13-year um, black is the new release, which is absolutely phenomenal. Got uh, a few here. The 13-year blue, the 12-year blue that are both uh, Mayor Pingree Cast Club for exclusive members. So those were, those were phenomenal too. That's that's some that's some amazing stuff. Move up, the Kentucky Owls, uh, batch one and two, on the rise. The confiscated. I don't have a batch nine. This is a four gate uh, batch seven. That's the uh, River Kelvin Rye that Dan and Sean gave me as the media sample because they had a bottle. The four gate batch six. Smoke Wagon Desert Jewel in the Uncut, the Redwood Empires, and then we'll move over here to where we have Elmer T and uh, Rock Hill Farms. Also have the, the Hancock's Reserve and the Blade and Bow. So this middle area, move over here, this is the kind of the bottles that I really are special to me right now. Got that Calumet Farms 14 on the left. That old Carter uh, Bash 5 rye in the middle, phenomenal. And then of course the Sam Houston 14, that's a Michigan and a um, Texas. Old Rip 10, and then George T. Stagg, Eagle Rare 17, William LaRue Weller, and uh, Thomas Handy. I don't have a Saz 18, would love to have one. Bottom shelf over here, move over to some Traverse City whiskeys, the wheat, the barrel proof rye, the barrel proof uh, uh, single barrel regular and the barrel proof uh, port finish as well as the barrel proof cherry. So if, it, if you wonder what I think of Traverse City Whiskey, definitely barrel proof is the way to go. These Grand Traverse Distilleries, it's an old George single barrel and a, and a straight bourbon single barrel. Those are both phenomenal whiskeys um, from Grand Traverse Distillery. I have uh, some A, A120 and B520 Larceny and uh, three Larceny store picks. Moving up to this shelf, I have Michter's. This is my Michter's shelf. It's from a 2015 Michter's Toasted Barrel finish. It's fantastic. I have a few rise, Toasted Barrel rise, and the straight and the um, ten, both the straight rye and the bourbon tenure. Uh, 1792 Ridgemont Reserve. This is a 1792 high rye that Dan and Julie like sent me. Thank you guys so much. Can't wait to crack into that. Some sweet wheat, small bar small batch, single barrel, foolproof, two store picks. Top shelf over here, got Midwinter Night's Tram, five, six, seven. I don't, uh, four, five, six, uh, I don't know, four, five, six, seven, don't have eight yet. Got the Willet Rye, Colonel Taylor Straight Rye, small batch, single barrel, two different years, and then I have barrel proof from 17, 18, 19, and 20. That is amazing stuff right there. My high west shelf's a little lagging, but I've got uh, 
some some good stuff there and an old Fitz 9. These two son of Blue Rise compliments of Dan Shook. Bottle right here. Old man Dan. <laughs> Matt uh, Matt Porter at his best right there. Look at that face. <laughs> That's amazing. This is kind of like my turkey shelf, right? So I got Russell's. I got some, these are all store picks. I'm gonna move into some Long Branch, some Wild Turkey, Decade 17 bottle, 17 year bottle and bond. And 1984 uh, Austin Nichols Wild Turkey. A bottle of Malort hanging out there. That's as much Malort's ever gonna be in this house. Uh, Kentucky Spirit. I've got these uh, old rare breeds, which are fantastic. These old rare breed uh, wild turkeys. I wish I had more of those. This is a Nulu uh, store pick, or uh, sorry, Great Lakes Whiskey Club pick, the New Tang, which is pretty cool. Local group up here. Got uh, Betch uh, 11, 12, and 13, a Stag Junior. And then I've got some Peerless um, Bourbons and Ryes. This one I just actually added to the collection. So this is Justin House of Bourbon. Amazing. I can't wait to crack into that. He said it tastes like a fudge brownie. So going down, I've got some Bellamy Cast Strength. That one's 113 proof. I have 118 proof in the bunker that I can't wait to break into. Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend Batch 13. And then I've got these. My dude, Slade Gulledge Prime Time. These are Chattanooga Whiskey Single Barrel, 118.6 and 117.6. Amazing, amazing stuff. I, Ch Chattanooga Whiskey for three year whiskey is great. And then I've got uh, Old Forester uh, Birthday Bourbon, 18, 19, and 20. My two bottles of uh, the 150th Batch 1 and 2. Haven't even cracked into those bad boys yet. Asano Single Barrel from Daniel Kerber. You're the best. I love you, buddy. Um, Old Forester 1910, 1915, 1920. Uh, that 1915 is a label from uh, Josh Gamble. Really cool dude. Guys, got to get those labels and make that blend. So that's kind of my Old Forester shelf. These are all old single barrel store picks. So as you can see, I kind of got an Old Forester shelf. Woodford Reserve and Elijah Craig shelf. So as I move my way down, you can see all the different batches of Elijah Craig, ending with the 18 and my absolute favorite Elijah Craig, this guy right here, my last grenade. And then on the end, I've got a Jim Beam um, Distiller's Masterpiece, which is the finished in sherry casks. This is my Infinity bottle in the Four Roses right there. Actually, pretty good bottle. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. The one on the end is the Gold Bar. It's a blended whiskey from California that's finished in uh, port wine casks. This bottle right here is my 1974, my birthday year, uh, Jim Beam that Matt, Sir Matt Porter got for me. Some Baby Saz, uh, Basil Hayden's. I don't know why I have that, but I do. Boondocks, Heaven's Door, Jameson Cole Brewies. Oh my God, it's so you ever want some breakfast whiskey, Jameson Cold Brew is the way it is. Um, some little book, uh, I believe that's uh, chapter four. Uh, same with the old tub. My early times bottled and bond, oh, it's just great stuff. Carrie's Howler Head, because we can always have to have that on stock, because that's her. Uh, Treaty Hill. Uh, this infused spirit, um, actually let me, let me move back over to this Boondocks here. This Boondocks, eight year finished in port barrels, that came from a really good friend of mine that, that sent that on. He's just, just a great dude. Also the same guy sent me the infused uh, spirits. So Bernie D doesn't really hang out much in chat anymore, but he's a great, great dude. And Old Elk, freaking Kevin Hires. Dude brings by straight single barrel pick and says, look man, it's from Smitty's. It's gotta be good. It's not, so he left it. Um, regular Buffalo Trossi, John J. Bowman, the worst Hirsch I have ever seen in my entire life, and then some Caribou Crossing. Let me show you this amaze balls. Look at that thing. Alec Bradley. And who are these fucks? Bourbon junkies. We got Whistle Pig. This is, these are both, uh, well, this one's a Sean Opperman store pick. This one I got from Flavor when I was in the club, which I'm not anymore. My Angel's Envy Cast Strength. Two. 
different um, mixers that I got from Angel's Envy when I was waiting for uh, 17 hours for Dan to return my call so that I could pick up his Mizunura cask bottle. This iron root right here, uh, that's also what's in the flask, Dan gave me some of his, so mine's not open yet. This is the YouTuber pick, so all the whiskey tubers picked that. And then I have some, some bottles of New Riff. Okay, so on this shelf, I have some uh, barrel whiskey, that's the Cast Strength Opperman Single Blend. I have a Great Lakes Single Barrel Society Barrel 1 and 2, both 14 years. Uh, those are some high proofers as well, really good stuff. Woodenville, my Rhetoric 25, my Victory Bottle. Blood Oath Pack 5 and a Blood Oath Pack 6, another Victory Bottle. A couple of pin hooks, a Noah Mills, Parker Heritage Rye, a J. Henry, uh, a straight bourbon from seven, uh, seven years old from Wisconsin, really good stuff. A couple rabbit holes and a couple of Old Scouts. One five year and one 13 year. The five year will be gone soon, the 13 year will be there forever. My Jack Daniels uh, shelf here, Tennessee uh, Gold. Carrie and I went down to the distillery. And I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it says Michael and Carrie, uh, March 28, 2018. It's kind of a special bottle. And I've got uh, the Rested Rye, never buy that. The Holiday Select, the Single Barrel, the Heritage Blend, all great stuff. These Tennessee tasters are freaking amazing. Coming down here, I've got a Jay Mattingly pick from the Great Lakes Whiskey Club, Pure Michigan, that I just got from Timothy Miller. Um, some Remus 1, 2, 3, and 4. All good, the three is by far the best. Bone Snapper Rye, uh, a couple of Knob Creek store picks. My, you know, Slappy Weller Shelf, Special Reserve 12, Antique 107, couple, uh, one of, two of those are store picks. Weller Full Proof, a regular and a store pick, and my uh, Slappy Pappy, Poor Man's Pappy. And then I have some single barrel uh, and a sample that Dan and Julie sent me. Some Legent, which is terrible in my opinion. Um, Calumet Farms, the regular, not so good either. Jefferson's, not so good either. Uh, this Redemption, not so good either. As you can see what this shelf is, exception of the old granddad, which is fantastic. This this bottom, these bottom two shelves that we're going into, I actually have to move that old granddad. This Fire Sean is an ma amazing bottle, but it was a stinker of a blend from Mr. Porter. Dogmaster. You ever make your way to Kansas City and you see Dogmaster? Leave it where it sits. Same with the Copper Fox, the uh, the Rigers, the Cleveland. Um, this uh, sweet, I don't even know what this is, Benjamin Rich. Kelsey got me that and it's it's really good but it's really, really sweet. And then there's two Wisconsin, uh, the Border. This is a uh, pick that uh, Sean Opperman made uh, down at J. Mattingly. It's port wine finished, like literally. A um, couple of Yellowstone, one in LE. That LE is great. My Four Roses LE from 2019. Two regular single barrels, not a huge fan of Four Roses. And then I've got a maker shelf. My Justify bottle that my man Jeff Coates got for me when uh, we bought our house. He celebrated and gave me that Justify bottle. That'll never be opened. I love that thing. And then some makers. The Rob Samuels, the Cast Strength, the 46 Cast Strength, um, some regular Cast Strength. Makers 101, which is probably their best thing on the market right now. Some Private Select, one from Bill Samuel Jr., one from Heritage Wine, and then the Reading Brazilian Jiu Jitsu that Dan and Sean have talked so much about. Great pick. RC6, uh, the Distillery Exclusive, uh, MR13, and then this year's uh, SE4. Those are going to be some bottles that are going to be auctioned off later. I also have some Bonham and Lillard, um, some Saffle, Henry McKenna, uh, Pure Kentucky, a couple Widow Janes, this Balamora from uh, Garrison Brothers, amazing. And then the Baker 7 is decent, and that bottle will probably never change until I pour it out and make it an infinity bottle. So you kind of got to look at the basement, you got an idea of what I have down here. Um, I know it seems self-serving, but it's exactly what a lot of people were asking for, so I wanted to make sure that I delivered. 
on some promises that some people wanted to get a tour of the whiskey room. So I really appreciate you guys. I love you all. And I want you all to remember that it's not about the bourbon. It's about the destination and the people you meet along the way. I love you. Thank you.